Hello everybody, I am Samuel 15 the Dragon Tamer here today, and welcome to Pokemon TCG Online. And today I'm going to be playing my uh, Landorus uh, Garbodor deck with a few other cards from uh, the Rising Fist expansion, and uh, I decided to make a bit of a deck out on it. It's more or less based, loosely based on my uh, other deck featuring our uh, Landorus with uh, Big Basics Rival Order, but I've changed a lot of the cards, but I've the only really attacker that's the same is uh is Landers and Garbodor obviously is still in the uh deck. And actually let's just take a look at it real quick. This is the best way to actually get a full view of the deck. Now, this is the deck I have made. This is kind of a more or less experimental, I guess. Um I don't think this will be the an actual the, the competitive version or the final result of the decks you'll be seeing that win states and whatnot. Uh, as time goes on, I don't think this will will be the this version of it will be the one that wins uh, this coming uh, fall regionals. But I could be wrong, you know. Like a few tweaks here and there, I feel like the tweak that I'm actually a uh, card that I'm actually really trying out here in this deck is Halucha with Shining Spirit. Now. This ability is not really the best. It's only really good if like uh you're facing a deck that's not weak to lightning. That's I mean that's not weak to fight fighting. If you're facing a deck that's not weak to fighting, then you might wanna uh turn this ability off via guard border. However, if you're facing like a uh you all tall deck that pretty much doesn't run really either doesn't run abilities or uh or has garboder garboder anyway, then I guess having this ability will actually help you. Or um, will actually Oh uh, wait. <laughs> will actually help you, yeah. So you want to keep this ability on. <laughs> so I guess their ability will want to they wanna they might want to turn their garboder on. <laughs> but the reason why is because Evatol is uh of course uh resist fighting so this would actually help it so yeah that's why I'm thinking of that but put a one of uh, Halucha in this deck another deck that I, card that I put in here is uh, Landorus because of its shadow power hits for 20 which is not really the strongest but its ability is also pretty is pretty good attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon now this is kinda similar to uh, the regular evil tolls uh, Dark Hole, whatever it's called, but or but but that doesn't 30 instead. This gives the added effect of uh, any energy, any basic energy. So I guess it's pretty good. Not to mention it gets all the added benefits of the uh, uh, fighting of the uh, which we'll get to later. So oh well. And now we of course have Landorus with its hammerhead ability, with hammerhead attack. We'll be mostly using this, but we may also get to use Land's Judgment once or twice. You mostly want to be using hammerhead, and it does 30 to 30, and it's pretty good. Land's Judgment does also hits for 150, but it can easily hit for 170 or 90 with the several cards, which we'll get to later. Another card that I'm actually more or less trying out is uh, Lucario. You know. I'm putting Lucario in this deck for the same reason why people have uh, Darkrai in their Evil Talk Garb Order decks. The reason is simply because uh, not only is the ability good, but just hitting for 90 and 30 its advantage is pretty good. Just have, and not to mention, it gives you know, different weaknesses, and that's what Lucario brings to the table. It table. has a nice 180 HP, it can hit for 30 in resistance, it does not affect it. That's real nice. I mean, it's really good started against Evil Tall. Uh, Summer Assault, Corkscrew Smash. That's also a very good support attack. And these, you mostly want to be using these two attacks. I'm also trying to put like, get a uh, Mega Lucario in this deck, and I'll be swapping out for for one D one D D Dene. I'm only planning on having two into the final build, so this is more or less an experimental. Uh, and what this does is. First of all, entertainment's a pretty good attack. Uh, attack. It's a good uh, helps you get a few things in the bench, and it's always nice. But we're mostly using it for energy shot. 
Would this this attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy your point on your opponent's active Pokemon? So basically, you want to be hitting, one-shotting uh, Lugias and uh, Nivitals. And you can easily do that with uh, with Muscle Van. So let's say if, uh, which adds 20, let's say you have a Muscle Van here and your opponent has, uh, let's see, about 1, 2, 3, 50. Let's say your opponent has four energy on your on that Pokemon, and you put a Muscle Band here. Well, you'd be doing hitting for the right amount of energy, right amount to knock it out. You'd be hitting it for let's see, 160 plus that would be the 180. And that's a knockout. And of course, another Pokemon we of course have in the stack is Garbodor. Garbodor is. Is really good in this deck, especially since there's no abilities that we kind of want in this deck. I mean, we also have a uh, Shining Spear and a Halucha, but you know, half the time we'll want that off anyway, especially facing something that's weak to fighting. So there's that. The 2 2 line. Um, we also have some of the item cards. We also have Dowsing Machine as our ace back. We have Bicycle, just because I think it's so good. We also have Evo Soda for a, uh, to get a guard. To get a Garbodor and play easier, and I would also be using this for uh, the Mega Lucario. I don't know if I actually want to put that in this deck or not, but I just think two Lucario is pretty good. Maybe maybe we have a Mega, just for some interesting plays. Uh, Pal Pal to get our supporters and Megaphone for us as lighter. It's two switches to get our all of our big basics out of the active that have two or more retreat cost. Everything in this deck has exception for uh, everything. All the EXs have uh, in Gar Garbodor have uh, two retreat costs, but Dedene and uh, Landers have one retreat cost, and Halusia has no retreat cost, which is actually fairly nice. It's always nice to have one retreat cost, have a free retreat cost Pokemon. I just always like that. Um, you have four Ultra Balls to get everything out. And here comes the interesting thing, the supporters. We have two Polar Scissor draws, two, three N and three uh, Juniper. Still a draw card. It's a, a draw cards along with bicycles. That's ten. That's pretty good, I think. Um, that's means we have Palba to get some of the stuff back in. We also play two Lysandra. And the interesting thing, we could get Kar we have Karina, which it, what it does is search your deck for fighting Pokemon and an item card to reveal them. This is basically a, a little bit of a. This is kind of like Skyla, but only for like fighting decks. Since, you know, honestly, if you're gonna play Skyla in a fighting deck, just play Karina instead. No point in playing Skyla, because you can get basically most cards out of your deck this way. I mean, you can get a. You can get let's see a Landris and a uh, Ultra Ball or Landris and a Muscle Band. Landers in a float stone, a Landers in a bicycle, a Lucario in a bicycle, a, uh, this, the possibilities are endless, so that's why I really do like that. It's, it's a good, Karina's a good card to have in this deck. And some of the other stuff that helps this deck. We have strong energy, which gives us extra, our fighting Pokemon extra 20. And, but it can only be, it only work to, uh, fighting. So, let's say we put this on, Landers, so now it's be doing 50 and 30 to the bench. Put this onto it, that's doing 70 and 30 to the bench. Put this on, on the, uh, and put the stadium down. And it'll be doing 90 and 30 to the bench. That's really good for one energy. Now, I've been debating whether or not to put a fighting stadium or, uh, fighting stadium or hypnotic. And, or uh, Verbank Glazers in this deck, but the way I see is that Verbank Glazers take anywhere between uh, six to seven slots on a deck, and this only takes two to three, and that's pretty good, I think. I, not to mention you have more opportunities to do damage, and I'm sure having a Toxic Glazer can do damage really quickly, but you know this is a very consistent stadium. It's just not just sitting there, you know. The most it's going to do is help is help your opponent in a mirror match, but oh well. Uh, we also have two floats for the, so for the Garbodor, obviously, so, and that's the deck, I, 
this is my version of it. And I don't know if this is going to be like the, the version of it that uh, wins regionals, but I think I've done some different things. I mean, some people think maybe Raichu and Garbodor and Landorus, but I think the Danny is a better pair since we could, simply because that way you can just simply cut the DCE, the double colorless energy, completely from the stack. So you all you have to do is run the fighting and the uh, strong energy. So that's the nice thing. For the most part, everything runs on, on the same energy, and that just looks is really nice. Um, this is a very, very good deck, I think. This is like this is some version of it of this deck will, pro will obviously win a regionals, I think. You know, we'll do really well at regionals. I don't know if this exact one or like we'll, I don't know if this one will have if the final version of have Lucario or Lucho or. Or any of those, I know. I'm pretty sure it might have Landorus in it. This Nani X Landorus, and maybe the and probably the, the Dene too, because because even so, it's just a, such a tough matchup a, a little bit. But that's let's stop rambling. Um, you yeah, have been rambling for the last 12 minutes, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys want to need to play now. Yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna play a lot longer for you people. Let's make it up. Alright. Wow, this is new. Our opponent also seems to be playing facing some kind of playing some kind of fighting deck. I wanna go first. G M And my opponent has something different. Um, I put that down. I'm just gonna simply end. I don't know why my opponent has Drill Burp, but I guess my opponent has a more fun deck. But oh well. I think I will actually attach to uh, to Lucario simply because of the fact that uh, I don't have any other energy play. Um, and I'll just end my turn. The reason why I'm doing this is simply because of the fact that, uh, <laughs> my opponent also has strong energy. I'm doing this because, um, I probably don't have anything in place so that I can just easily do some damage quickly. That's my th theory. So that's, so I probably should have hold on to the muscle then. But oh well. One is using Ultra Ball. I'm kind of interested to see what what kind of deck my opponent has. You know, it's like a another version of the uh, of the Landorus deck my opponent is trying out. This is very interesting, honestly. Um. I don't know what to do here. Too weird for getting all this stuff, but whatever. Um, what am I gonna get? I think I'd get Halucha because simply because of the fact that, uh, you know, in case that Landorus comes out, this is also pretty, I think would be pretty decent in a mirror match, so that's nice. I'm gonna use Corkscrew Smash for a knockout. And I'll draw six cards. Just like that, I am doing well. Opponent is going to be using Evil Soda.
An opponent definitely has some kind of fighting deck. Well, his deck, his version is very interesting. I'll give him that. Let's see, can I knock him out this turn though? I'm hitting for 100, 140. Hundred and sixty. Yep, I got it. I gotta get a Corina. Hmm. What else do you want to get? I don't know what to get here, I really don't in terms of items. Uh, huh. I really don't know what to get here. Um I'm just get a bicycle. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. And I'm Karina back in the deck. And Somersault Cake for Knockout. <laughs> I've quickly am winning. When it says the enemy, then I'll just have to use Corkscrew Punch for not get next turn. Which is fine. I'm fine with that. I think my opponent has a Landris and a Chomp. It's not a bad version. That's what I like to draw until I six cards. But yeah, Lucar is actually very good. Everyone like underestimates this Pokemon really badly. Yeah. But I think like Lucario does have plenty of potential in a deck like this. Everyone's like, oh Landers, Landers, Landers. Well, this deck's pretty good too. Ooh. That was clever. I know what I do now. I'm getting launch of trades complete just now for some reason I do not know. Um paying for fifty. Not hitting as much as I would like to. Okay, I think I have to end here. Maybe I should have put the fighting energy, but oh well. I'll just hammer hit for for fifth. Wait, what?
How can I only hit for 30? I should have been hitting for 50. Alright, now I'm kind of worried. They have like no hand right now. Hmm. Let's hammerhead again. Probably should have put fight fighting somewhere, but oh well. Wait, why did you pick D here? That's odd. Maybe we can get a juniper here. So now I'm really worried. Alright. What I'm gonna just get slandered like a garbage so I can discard it. Mm -hmm. Let's see forty twenty. 60, nah, not doing enough to knock it out. 80, yeah, just gonna shout out power. Wow. That was bogus. Let's see, is that enough? 20, 40, 60, or 20. No, I don't think that's enough. I think I need something else. Nah, that's. Dang, I should have got the Garbodor in play, but I didn't. Ah, that's why I'm going to lose. Yeah. Dang it, I lost. I only lost because I was being silly. If I would have put a Garbodor in play like I should have, I would have won, but I didn't. Oh, my opponent did have a uh, not not a bad model of it, so I guess that has helped him. But I'm going to continue to tweak this deck a bit more, so you can see more in the future. But for now, thank thank you everybody. Please like, subscribe, all that silly stuff, and I will see you guys next time.